Hey Aquarius, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again here at Just Be Tarot Aquarius. My name is Michelle. How you doing? I hope all is well with you and yours. And I'm wishing you all the very, very best Aquarius. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to all who are celebrating a birthday on today. Happy birthday for all the January Aquariuses. If I have missed a day or will miss a day. I love you guys to life and I'm wishing you all love, light, peace, blessings, happiness, healthiness, abundance, and prosperity, success. I'm hoping that your wishes come true. More than that, I'm wishing you a greater and grander year than ever. Okay, Aquarius. So happy birthday again. I'm going to try to keep this message short, Aquarius, um, but I was urged to come on here and give a message for someone who may be a bit anxious or feeling anxiety or getting butterflies in their stomach or something like that. And it could just be a passing thing. It could be, I don't know what it is, but it could just be a passing thing. I'm hoping it's not something that's lingering on. Um, but that's what I was getting, like a little bit of anxiousness. Um, maybe somebody is just nervous about, it could be anything. Um, I don't really know. But yes, I am hearing that song by the Arithmics. Uh, here comes the rain again with Annie Lennox. Um, so I don't know. All right, let's just get right into it. We do have this leadership card as an overall energy, Aquarius. Some of you, you may be nervous about taking on a new role in your life or the direction in which um, life is taking you. There are some changes coming up. They should be very positive changes, but that doesn't mean we wouldn't be anxious or nervous about them, okay? For some of you, there's um, definitely changes in your relationship status as well. All right, but we have the leadership um, card as the overall energy, and this talks about moving from the energy of love with it, the rose quartz being in the middle of this card. It also talks about having the bravery and courage and fortitude to move forward even after feeling beat up, let down, discriminated against, or, you know, feeling as though very frustrated um, by things that has happened to you in the past, but you're being asked to push for it. You're being asked to um, keep pushing through. There's a breakthrough ahead of you, all right? There's also the energy here that I'm getting tonight, particularly, is that, um, I don't know, you could be taking control of something. Somebody may have really push, pushed your buttons, um, forced your hand. This could be at work or in your relationships. Because I'm hearing, here comes the rain again, falling on my head like a memory. Falling on my head like a new emotion. But it's not new. It's something you've been through before. And, you know, this 81 breaks down the, to a 9. And the 9 with this coloring here is giving me 9 of Wands energy. It's like a warrior. Somebody who has been through something. Somebody who has experienced perhaps the worst. And they're pushing through and making a breakthrough. And they're right there. I mean, the 9... And then the 10, and then it's like, psh, we're on to a whole new, a whole new scene, a whole new world, a whole new cycle, a whole new level. You know what I mean? And so it's like we're right there. And with that song, here comes the rain again. It just feels like something is happening right before a breakthrough. And so let's just get into it. I don't know what this is about, but I wanted to, you know, come on and honor my guides. Um, they will lead me through this reading for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus. Anywhere you have Aquarius in your chart, there could be a word in this for you. Roles can be reversed, flip-flop, transposed, Aquarius. I could be picking up energy. It doesn't have to be you. 
I could be picking up someone in your energetic sphere, something you heard about, read about, talked about, okay? Spirit angels and ancestors, a clear and accurate message for Aquarius. Yeah, because I'm hearing, here it comes again. I'll put the lyrics, um, the video for the lyrics down below, because I'm sure some of you are not old enough to remember this <laughs> this group or this song. Let's see, spirit, angels, and ancestors, a message specifically for Aquarius. First card out, we have caring connections, but it wanted to show itself inverted. And there's a number 14 here, which talks about a change. So this could be talking about relationships. Oh, we see this clear and release. Spirit, angels, and ancestors, a clear message for Aquarius. We have the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, which is the throat chakra. So what is happening right now? Um, there may be a relationship that is going through a status change here. Somebody may be going through a change um, when it pertains to a relationship um, that was somewhat, um, it looks romantic, okay? Again, roles could be reversed, but five transposed, somebody could be talking to you about this. This could be something you read about, heard about, talked about. Take it as it resonates. But what it looks like is there's a caring relationship that is um, somewhat distant, or there could be some type of trouble on and off uh, energy. This is why it's all happening. Okay, I mean, this is what's happening. Why is it all happening? Um, this anxious feeling, here comes the rain again. It could be because you're trying to clear um, an energy out of your life when it pertains to um, cutting a cord. Maybe you're blocking something out. Maybe you disconnected from a relationship particularly um, or groups, friendships, romantic, non-romantic. Okay, um, it looks like you've tried to uh, clear something out. You're blocking it. It says clear, cancel, and release. You're blocking it, or this is what somebody may be doing to you. Um, we have the outcome of throat chakra energy talking. Okay? I mean, it's clear and to the point here. What is your higher self telling you? Why is this so complicated? What is your higher self telling you? Why is this so complicated? A clear and accurate message for Aquarius, please. Wow. A lot of cards. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is you manifesting something new and something may be coming into your life here. Joy and pain like sunshine. And rain, joy, huh? And pain, yeah. Something from the past was really hard to get out of the funk with it. Okay, I'm, I I want to say with the moon, it was a lot of confusion, a lot of fear tied up with relationships. Okay, and so that's why spirit says do the work, and I feel like that's what you've been doing with the clear, cancel, and release, all right? So your higher self is saying you are manifesting what you want in your life. These are the first two cards that I saw, guys. I'm not picking and choosing because I just heard somebody feel that, think that, or something like that, <laughs> okay? It's not that I'm picking and choosing. There were a lot of cards that came out. The cards that I put back are indic indicative of the same card, okay? So it's confirmation that what has happened or what is going on or what has happened in the past or what is going on, why it's all happening is because there's a connection that 
you're maybe still trying to uh, detach from you may be still trying to cut the cord somebody may be pulling on your energy but this is a relationship that meant a lot but the 14 there there states that there is some type of change it's a huge change um and regarding this caring relationship and whatever um category it is there is a a shift that is taking place it looks like someone is trying to clear it out cancel it out um, cut cords, um, heal from it, and move forward. But it's really hard, okay? It's not only hard because there was uh, love and an emotional connection here, but it's also hard because the time that was put in. That's what we really try to get over, the time and the effort that was put into relationships. That's what keeps us so entangled okay um and it doesn't help if somebody is trying to communicate but this could be somebody new that you're talking to and it's like there may be fear connected to feelings but your higher self is saying you've been manifesting joy and contentment You've been manifesting joy and contentment. And the angel of love is here to help you to receive it. So, yeah, that makes sense with that song. Here comes the rain again. Falling on my head like a memory. Falling on my head like a new emotion. And it's like, <laughs> Annie says, here it comes again. <laughs> like, damn, here we go again. I'm feeling these feels again. Like, but you want it to be, you want to talk like lovers do. Somebody may be saying this to you. Like I said, roles could be reversed for pop chance pose. Or somebody could have gone through this that you are uh, dealing with. Take it as it resonates, guys. This is what's coming up. But I did feel butterflies in my stomach and I did feel some type of anxiety. Um, you're being asked to share love, okay? Let's see. Are we bringing these out yet? Are we bringing these out yet? I'm grabbing them, so let's do it. Um, your angels have a message for you. All right, let's see. Clear your vibes. Thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field. So Metatron is here helping you to clear your energy field, and we're going to read it. So, yeah, clearing, canceling. Spirit, angels, and ancestors. Let's get more for Aquarius regarding this reading inner voice thank you angels for guiding me through my inner voice so um there's something about inner messages higher up messages we have uh, manifesting miracles as well, okay? All right. Bottom of the deck, it says, focus your mind. Thank you, angels, for helping me to focus on my priorities. That's what you've been doing. You've been um, focusing on stability, security. Uh, I want to say um, material wealth. You know, you're everyday priorities and things like that that's what you've been um focusing on okay but i think this is something more than just that <clears throat> there's a lot happening for aquarius uh during the season all right i, I will say <laughs> that much let's see where's the book all right here it is um, somebody has just been doing like mad work um, and I don't know I want to say someone is bored um, and they may be wanting in this season to 
enhance their social life. Doesn't mean that somebody wants um, a relationship romantically, but they do want to enhance their social life, maybe. Um, I'm not sure, okay? But this is what I'm getting intuitively. This card, clear your vibes, Archangel Metatron. It is the first Archangel out here on the board. It says you are being guided to clear your life of any harsh, negative, or challenging energies. It's time to make way for positive energy in your life. And the only way you can do this is by clearing your aura, your body, and your energy. Surround yourself with positive people and uplifting environments. The angels are encouraging you to call on them to help you clear your life of anything that's getting between you and inner peace. Clear any clutter from your home, your office, your car, and anywhere else you spend time. When you clear out clutter in your life, you clear psychic clutter from your energy field. And when you clear your energy, you open yourself up to more abundant and spiritual experiences. Metatron is the throne next to God, and he has a special connection with the uh with current and um, with currents and aura, so he's gonna help you clear out your vibe if you if you want. Okay, now let's read in a voice. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. The angels are now ready to bring you. Oops ready to bring you guiding thoughts and feelings and inspiring words. Within you is a strong and resilient voice that they are able to use to send you guidance. So take some time to listen within. You've been asking for help and support in some area of your life from the higher realms, and they are now ready to guide you lovingly to the next step. Any loving guidance you are hearing at this time is 100% from source, so please trust it. The inner voices are very subtle and it takes patience and the willingness to listen in order to truly hear what it is saying. But you will know when the angels are speaking to you because whatever they present to you will be holy, lovingly, and supportively there and there will be no rush if your guidance is to do something that will bring harm to you or another person or you are promised excessive riches then you'll know your ego has taken over close your eyes and listen support is there for you now Say the prayer and then trust. So say your prayers and then trust for those of you who uh, do pray or whatever it is that you do to communicate with your, your um, higher ups, okay? That's what that card is saying. So now the last card out from the angels that we have is from Archangel Orion. Um... Manifesting Miracles. Whenever I see this card, it gives me Aquarius vibes, okay? <laughs> um, thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. You are blessed to receive this very special angel card as the angels are drawing close to help you manifest your wildest dreams in the most miraculous ways. Miracles occur naturally, and when they are not occurring, something has gone wrong. But the angels are helping you to align with your thoughts and energy to, I'm sorry, so you can manifest the blessings you really deserve. 
you are a magician and you have been handed the power and energy to create the life you deserve. Whenever you believe to be true, whatever you believe to be true is created. Belief made manifest. The angels want you to know that the life you want is here and that you are in the perfect place and space to create it. You are filled with the infinite energy of the cosmos. So allow this energy to manifest blessings into your life. What do you want to happen next? As long as it is a love-filled thought, you can create it now. Ormion is one of the newer um, archangels offering their support to heaven. He helps us connect to all that is and reminds us that we are one with everyone and everything in the entire universe. An angel of the cosmos, his energy reminds me of wishing on a star. Okay, so that's why it reminds me of you. That's why it reminds me of you. Okay. Yeah, because this card always reminds me of Aquarius. Really, it does. Now, you know what I noticed here? Um, This card here only happens as you clear your energy and, um, and your thoughts. Get clear with your thoughts. That's how the manifestation happens. Did you hear what... Pay attention to what was said in this card. It talks about once your energy is fear, um, once your energy is cleared and your thoughts are clear, you will be able to manifest. You'll be in alignment to manifest. Okay. So that is what is uh, happening here. That's what's happening here. All right. So yeah. The energy field um, decluttering will really help you. Um, meditation will really help you. Um, being connected to your guides and realizing that good things are happening, okay? There may be some type of, I don't know, it's like somebody has some type of fear or something within them in regards to what to expect next. But the angel of love is here along with contract and guardian angel. Wow, look at this. The angel of love comes to support you in a way that is protective and nurturing and caring and loving and healing and literally flourishing. Um, this abundance of love for you, all right? And, you know, love is such a a beautiful thing. You know, I mean, when we get hurt by love, <laughs> we don't like it at all. We, um, you know, dispel love and despise love and, you know, and the fact that, you know, we can't control our feelings, it, it becomes an issue, okay? for us as human beings, but we are all connected. We are all a part of the divine cloth of the universe and spirit God source made us um, and created us from love. All right. And the angel of love being here is a beautiful, beautiful thing with the contract being here. It does mean that there is a particular connection partnership, romantic or non-romantic. You know, a contract says that there's, it's an agreement. It's, um, you know, even, they even say in court sometimes that, you know, a verbal agreement can even be, um, you know, considered a contract. And so this is definitely saying there is the Mahat is here. Okay. Um, now, this could be a twin flame, a divine counterpart, um, a partnership, romantic or non-romantic, a soulmate. Soulmates come in all forms, 
okay but your angels are here and you, do you see how this angel looks it's almost as though this angel is saying trust me trust me i know what i'm doing in your life i am here to protect you i am keeping you and covering you as always okay well whoever needs to hear this i, I i'm kind of getting with the woman holding a coin in the reverse is not all about money only right <clears throat> One of the beautiful things about energy, which is the pentacle, um, one of the beautiful things about energy is that um, the key to success can be pouring our energy into others and getting that energy back. That's the blessing. That's the blessing. Okay. Um, time and energy. Um, but it's not only about money. I also get the energy here. The spirit is saying, don't hold on to don't hold on to the end result. Don't hold on too tightly to what we believe or have come to believe um, things will play out because it doesn't always play out in that way. And it doesn't mean that we are poor from it for it. We actually are richer than we know with the angel of love and the uh, guardian angel here. Okay. This is abundance um, that can't be explained is what I feel. We also have, look at this, guys. Look at how this is playing. We have surrender. Surrender to what? The door to romance. <laughs> look at this. Mm -hmm. Here comes the rain again. Yeah, somebody is, somebody's either feeling some feels for a new person and starting to have, I don't know, flashbacks or something like that, getting nervous or something like that about a relationship or um, perhaps there's a relationship that may be um, not, you know, it may not be. Um, I'm getting a couple of different stories. It could be a relationship that you have broken off from. And now um, you've come to realize that you guys can reconcile for others of you. There's a relationship that has nothing to do with this one from the past coming towards you. And it's like you're actually manifesting what it is that you want joy and contentment rather it's with the old person or a new person is what i feel okay there's something about love being here and a conversation that you've had with your angels and spirit guides about what it is that you want is actually manifesting in your life okay it is that's what i see because that song says here comes the rain again the rain is the emotions the rains are the ebb and flow of emotions this also could be tears of joy Okay. Wow, these cards want to talk real quick. All right, so let's see. We have the Knight of Cups. Wow. The King of Cups. And the World. So if I put all of these on here, I would say that there may have been a relationship that um, has gone through a change something is coming full circle for you let's get more um i feel that new love is on its way to you i really do the world can talk about um walking through a portal and receiving something grand a great achievement the knight moving into the king somebody has matured there's some type of emotional maturity here nine of pentacles yeah this is the distraction the money <laughs> yep tower and seven of wands mm -hmm. so somebody has gone through a huge transformation all right somebody may have been in the love bombing stage like you know the fantasy of romance and things like that but they have matured with scorpio king of cups energy someone has gone through a huge transformation is what i feel i feel that something is coming back around when it pertains to relationships and it does not have to be this person this is just what has happened because of a connection that has failed or a connection that has not worked out in the past. Someone literally was hurt because it was like a love bombing energy, more of a, um, it was love, true love. But it's 
it's like a young uh, phase of love or something like that that may have um, lasted for a while, but someone has grown, someone has matured, this has ended, okay? But there's something coming back around full circle for you. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio, a Leo, um, a Taurus, a Pisces, a Cancer. This could be the cord that is um, cutting. Okay, there could be distance between you and this person. At the end of the day, there's uh, something that has kind of come to a, a close here. All right. Or it's trying to. It's still trying to. It's really hard. Let's move into this. The clear, cancel, and release. I feel like that's happening. That's like current energy. Okay. But it doesn't mean that it's not challenging. It doesn't mean that it's not challenging. Okay, um, somebody may have been projecting onto you. There could have been telepathic communication. There could be this happening. And that's why Spirit is saying it's important for you to clear out your energy vibes. But yeah, I feel that someone has really focused on, um, or they are focusing on their contentment. What makes them happy is um, stability and security, working on their projects, working on their goals, working on their kingdom, their queendom, um, being quite single and uh, feeling content, okay? Um, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, something is coming up, a feeling is what I feel. Something is coming up. Seven of Wands for me in this context is like somebody's trying to control what they are feeling. Or they're trying to control a dialogue that they're telling themselves. The Tower tells me this is the universe coming in. This is the rain. <laughs> this is the rain. Here comes the rain again. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry to laugh, Aquarius, but this is what it looks like, okay? It looks like somebody is trying to control um, a situation. Of, of, uh, and I, I don't know what the situation is, okay? Look. It's almost as though somebody's trying to ward off anything that may pertain to nine of cups which in this case is emotions because the throat chakra says that there are conversations the throat chakra says that because i was going to say that with this bird on this person's head it's almost like this person is a uh getting attention because of the bird on their head, whether they realize it or not. This is the help of the angels. This is the help of that angel of love. This is the help of these archangels. And remember, it says inner voice. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through the inner voice. Someone's inner voice is, I don't know, is it scary? It's like... No, I want to control this the way I want to control this. That's not how it goes. That's not how it goes. That's just not how it goes. The outcome here, like these cards here say, there are miracles that are being manifested in your life almost as though it's magic. Okay? You are the magician you are a part of the tower as well aquarius you are i feel that somebody is being asked to clear out not only just their energy field but to stay positive in regards to thoughts stay positive and clearing out your home clearing out your you know your closets clearing out your car clearing out your office space, wherever you spend your most time, wherever you divide your time, 
um, clear out the, the junk, okay? So that you can have um, room, I wanna say. So you can have room to grow and receive all of this abundant, yummy energy that's right here waiting for you, all right? Um, and with the inner voice, it can be scary if you've been through some real shit. And I know a lot of people, Aquarius or not, have. And you know, the Arithmics, I think that's how you say the group's name, Arithmics, um, with Ann Lennox. She also sings a song called um, Sweet Dreams Are Made Of This. Who am I to disagree? I traveled the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Some people want to use you. Some people want to be used by you. Some people want to abuse you. Others want to be abused. There are a lot of different things that um, humans go through in relationships. And we don't want to experience those things again. I feel that spirit is saying, you have been talking. You have been manifesting or vice versa. This person has been talking and manifesting and speaking with their, you know, higher ups, manifesting you. You may, you both may have been manifesting one another. I feel that there is an opportunity for you to meet someone who is um, very attracted to you. Um, they are willing <laughs> and um, able to, I don't know, make you happy, make you laugh. Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, there's an Ace of Cups lingering. Somebody's manifesting love, happiness, wish fulfillment, um, a new home, a new environment. You could meet this person in a new town, a new environment, a new neighborhood, a different neighborhood, or in your own neighborhood in which, in which you live, okay? There's an energy here where you could even combine or uh, what do you call that? Blend families. Okay. So um, does somebody have butterflies because they feel that they may be um, moving in a relationship? Uh, a relationship may be being taken to the next level. Um, and they're worried. Okay. There could even be marriage. Um, a baby here. Somebody could be nervous because they're finding out about a pregnancy. Somebody could be nervous because they're being proposed to and then, you know, they're, I don't know, getting butterflies, nervousness. It looks like somebody's also single trying to ward off attention that they're getting from others because there's a lot of communication here. It is. There's a lot of communication. There's a lot of correspondence. And, but it's almost like you're getting this attention because even if you're not literally saying it out your mouth, this bird here is saying, talk to me. <laughs> talk to me like lovers do. Some of you, you're exuding this, this energy of love. You're exuding this energy that you want happiness and joy and that you're a nurturer, that you're... Um, a person who can take care of people. You're you're exuding this energy that your guides are helping you bring into fruition of a person in your life. All right. It could be a Scorpio, um, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or um, an, a fire sign. I'm getting Sagittarius or something like that. I'm also getting that somebody's like, no, but I don't get along with um, with this kind of Zodiac. I don't get along with that type of Zodiac. I don't get it. Like somebody is very um, cautious. They don't want to be hurt again. Here it comes again is what I just keep hearing. What is this about here? One card on each, please. 
Yeah, you don't really feel that something will be successful again. There's something about... Because the Eight of Wands wanted to show itself reversed. But I'm showing it to you in the upright. This is Spirit, not Source, um, sending you love arrows. Okay? Cupid's arrows. Um, messages, downloads, growth when it pertains to love. Like I said, you've grown um, and you've matured. And with it being Sagittarius energy, see the death card here? Yeah, somebody has been picked apart in the past. And someone has changed, but you see the stars in the corners of this car? Aren't they beautiful? It's like, like I was going to say, this is Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius is the archer. It's the, I believe, therefore I am. And so someone did believe in love. With it trying to come out inverted, it's like someone is not believing that they can have, you know, the love that they really been manifesting. But you can. So here's the page of swords. Yeah. And the ten of swords. It's like someone is done, da da done, done. <laughs> okay. When it comes to um, you know, there's plenty of fish in the sea. When one door closes, another door opens. It's like somebody has really distracted themselves and taken time to discover more about themselves, okay? I feel that um, whoever someone is speaking to or whenever they have people speak to them, it's like it's short-lived, someone kind of cuts them off and things like that, yeah. Someone protects themselves. Some of the swords is right here. Someone protects themselves, okay? That's what I'm getting. But yeah, mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew this was going to come out. <laughs> Ten of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, things are changing. King of Cups, bottom of the deck. Love, here it comes again. Ten of Cups, this is more than wishes um, coming true. The Ten of Cups is Rose Quartz energy. This is completely and utterly feeling love, feeling welcomed, feeling <sighs> all the feels, all the feels, okay? Being in a loving environment, being um, cared for, being loved, all right? Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, this is Serpentine, but the Wheel of Fortune, the things that begin now could lead you to great success and abundance, Aquarius, with mature love. It could be with a, um, with exactly what you think you don't want, a Virgo, a Scorpio, um, a Sagittarius, a Pisces. This is beautiful. Um, I thought I was going to come on here and have to, you know, say something other than this is beautiful. Okay. Things are changing for you, Aquarius. Um, it says here, my business is prosperous. I rejoice in other people's successes as well because I know there is plenty for everyone. Okay. So... <laughs> I open myself to all good. I receive life's gifts with joy and pleasure and gratitude. These are the cards coming out. Not only is your business and your money going to be pumping, but what? I affirm only the good life. I am in harmony with all that surrounds me. I am at peace. You've been manifesting love peace, harmony, joy, and contentment, okay? You've been manifesting the good life. Something is missing and it's time for it to come in. It's time. It's about time. There's something about um, a certain um, neighborhood or location as well here, Aquarius. The Wheel of Fortune talks about faded energy, okay? The Wheel of Fortune talks about faded energy. The um, tower here 
is the universe coming in to, I don't know, break down your defenses, okay? Um, allow you to like open up, talk, okay? Give people a chance or something like that or to have a more welcoming um, nature or energy because like I said, this bird is saying to everybody, <laughs> come and talk to me. <laughs> It's so funny how spirit is giving me this. It's like, nah, I don't believe any of that anymore because when I had it, it didn't work out. Mm -mm. Maybe someone wasn't, they were an older person, but they acted like this, like younger, but your spirituality have grown. You're going to be more, you're more mature in your relationships. You're more mature as a person. You're more mature regarding your feelings here. Okay. And so, yeah, period, all right? And I feel that this is the distraction. Not that you haven't been working on clearing out your energy, releasing what no longer serves you, and, you know, um, rejecting things that, you know, just don't belong in your life. You've been doing a really good job at that, a really good job. Okay, Aquarius? You've been focused on you, um... Or maybe that's what you're doing right now. Focus on your, you know, your queendom, your kingdom, your independence, your properties, your money, your finances, your, you know, your, like I said, your kingdom, your queendom. But guess what? There's something that's turning around here. And I feel the spirit is breaking down your defense mechanism here just a little bit, okay, by sending you what you need or what you want. It's not even that you need it. You've been manifesting this is what I'm trying to say. Okay. I do feel this is the anxiety that I was feeling. This is the anxiety I was feeling. The Ten of Swords says that something is already over, but the page to the Ten, there's a Nine of Swords and that is anxiety or anxiousness or I don't know, just thoughts. Okay. Of worry. Or concern. Maybe you feel it. You feel. Here comes the rain again. You feel it with all of these planets going direct in Aquarius. Everything has gone direct. Uranus, um, Venus, Jupiter, like everything. <laughs> Mercury is in your chart. It's like everything is happening. Yeah, Mercury is here. Okay. So that is this throat chakra energy. There's going to be a lot of people around you who want to talk. I mean, even down to your pets, you might find that they bark more. Your cat meows more. Your bird chirps more. You know, people are just talking, 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 laughing, laughing, laughing. There's a lot of correspondence here. But this is what you've been wanting. You've been wanting this. Okay? And now it's here. It's faded. It's here. I affirm only the good life. My business is prosperous. I open myself to all good. These are the things that you have been manifesting, Aquarius. And now that it's happening, uh, Spirit wants you to let your guard down. Let it in. Okay, Aquarius? Um, really, that's all I can say. Until next time.